Well, BKB certainly brings the big names in. I've got a, a big name here, former British, Commonwealth, European, WBO Cruiserweight champion, Enzo Macronelli. Great to see this you. This Now, what's the attraction with, with BKB? Uh, well, I, can't, I come to the last show. Uh, we had a, a boy fighting, Daniel Lewis, a friend of ours, got to see him. Uh, I got invited to come back again. I had Daniel Chapman was on the show, I had Robert Borden was on the show, Tyler Goodjohn was on the show, good level boxer. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd come watch. And um, the, la the last show, it was uh, some fights Some fights were slow, some fights were fast. So far tonight, every, every fight's been, a, shall I say, a humdinger. Well, you Welshmen like a good fight, that's, that's yeah, for definitely. sure. And they're, they're as tough as they come, like, like yourself. Now, the quality this evening has been very, very good. But there's one thing that I'm finding that... That the, the boxers with the the, the the fighters with a boxing background mm. are just starting to shine through a little bit. No disrespect to the UFC and MMA, who are you know tough, tough guys, but obviously it, it is bare knuckle boxing, and, and that's starting to show a little bit. Yeah, we've got the MMA boys. Uh, um, you know, they, they come from a lot of disciplines. They've got to learn a lot of disciplines. Uh, boxers just learn boxing, and tonight it, it is boxing. It's boxing with a glove, uh, so they have to modify the style a little bit. You can't go in. Um, we didn't. I'll take the Tyler Good John uh, Navarro fight, for example, which was uh, an unbelievable Fantastic. fight. But the, the difference in levels was apparent. Uh, Good John, that just at that level above, which won him the fight. But Navarro made him work, and I think without, without that level Good John had, uh, he might not have won that fight. But it was a cracking fight, and you know, uh, difference in levels was apparent. But Navarro was tough as they come. What do you think the attraction is for boxing? Because I mean, we, we all love a fight, don't we? I mean, that that, that is it. I think the bare knuckle brings something. It brings a little bit more danger, does it? Yeah, it does. You know, there's a lot of boys. Like I said, in the first one, everyone was very, um, very tactical. They don't want to make a mistake. And it's been a bit like that tonight. But the, the punches have been flying a bit more tonight. But, you know, the, you have to modify your style. You just can't go wading in because you're going to get caught. We've seen tonight boys thinking they're on top, wading in with shots, getting caught with the shots and getting put out. You're seeing your style would have, would have suited this very well indeed. Tall, long, long, long punches, power in them punches. You know, get in, get your punches on, and then get out. Yeah, I had all the advantages. I was tall, I was rangy. Never boxed like that, though. I used to come weird, and then I, I, I smell a bit of blood. So it might not have suited me, but, I, you know, I, I certainly could whack. Well, tell me a little bit. We've got two good, two good amateur boxers in the night, next fight. James Canelli, who comes with a bit of form. But tell me a little bit about Dan Chapman, who's a fellow watchman. Dan Chapman, um, very, very talented kid. Um, and I think he unboxed for seven years, but he, he was a, a well squad member. I don't know whether he was in a, he was gone in virtual a GB squad member. Very talented. He's fighting out of his weight class tonight. Uh, the, he, the Canelli's got a lot of advantage over him, uh, height and range and weight. Uh, but Dan Chapman could have been something special if he'd have stuck at it. But waiting to see what he's got left tonight. But I, you know, I got a funny feeling he's going to put a show on tonight. Well, we're looking forward to this it's coming up next. So let's get over to MC Lee Druitt.